Love Pleaser. Yes. Not winning. <laughs> Everything's about winning. <laughs> Coming up on Shoes of Steel. I better tell you before you get close. I'm a special case. I'm not like the other. It's a Roman bailout. It's a Roman bailout. If you want to stick around, good luck, have a good ride. anything specifically in mind like I'm going to do this to get in shape for the riding season but um, my husband Ken and I love to stay active and we want to stay strong and flexible to ride and to do the things that we want to do with the horses and so we do aerial work so um, oftentimes we'll perform on the trapeze or most recently we performed on the lira it's a round hoop um, that you hang from the ceiling. So the trapeze is, has two, and it's a bar at the bottom. This is just a round circle. So um, that's kind of what we do over the winter time and to try to keep ourselves strong and flexible. And it just happens to work really well for horseback riding, too. For me, I feel I feel like I step into my own personal power when I'm on a horse. I feel like this is where my power center is, and this is where I really become who I am. When you're on a horse, you feel like, you know, you're there in this world and you have some power. Not over others, but just you just feel like you're empowered. I also think that a lot of women, a lot of people, are looking for a connection and for the women who don't have the connection with other people, this is a really great place to get it. Ken will sit on it and hold me with his legs and we'll do tricks and it keeps you very strong. Even though I'm a serious person, I think what drives me really is fun. You know, what can I do to have fun? And if I have to do something I don't like, I try to find what's fun about it and make it fun. And it's really easy to do that with my husband, Ken. We have fun no matter what we're doing. How did I meet Amy? I met him online. I wrote an ad and posted it, and it was a very, very irreverent ad. Um, I kind of given up on horseback riding, and I've been motorcycling my whole life, and I titled it something like, Are there any single guys out there who ride motorcycles? And then the content of the ad said something like, you know, looking for a guy who's emotionally available once in a while, and then I put in there... Willing to put up with a handful at times. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. And he replied to that ad. I think he'd said, oh, you know, I ride motorcycles and I uh, have horses. And I was like, oh, that's a really great score. And then I think our third date, we went to go see his horses. I asked Amy to come out to uh, my house with her motorcycle and we were going to go ride and I also um, thought it might be a good day to introduce her to Jack and Marley. And uh, I didn't know how she would perceive me having these two big draft horses. I knew she knew what a Shire horse was and that they were draft horses. And when we got uh, into the pasture, uh, we put their halters on. And uh, immediately thereafter, Amy she jumps right up on him and starts riding around in the pasture and 
I'm like, wow, no one's ever done that. I'm like, don't you need a saddle? And where's your, I got the bridle. And off she goes riding him around. I, I was looking for it. I didn't ask for it. And there it was. And it was the clincher. <laughs> didn't even know I had a secret weapon. And I, I could just tell that she was so down to earth and loved animals and loved the things that I like. It was just a, a picture perfect. Stay tuned for more Shoes of Steel. Wow.